Hi, hi everyone. Hello. Welcome to this very special edition of the Chef's Kitchen, brought to you by Norwegian Culture Center. Why is this episode special? Because it's about Christmas, and we all know Christmas is coming. So for this episode and the upcoming one, we are going to talk about the Christmas food that is very popular in Norway. Sigrid, yes, you are from Norway. I mean, we all know that. So, can you tell us a little bit about, like, you know, like in Norway for Christmas, what do you have on your dish, on the table? Here on this table, <laughs> yeah. First of all, we have the what we call ribbe. Okay. You would call it maybe pork ribs, like yeah. Christmas pork ribs. Yeah. So, this is one of the special things we make for Christmas. Mm. Mm. And other than this, do you have other dishes as well in Christmas? It's mainly like three dishes. You have the a fish dish. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you have lamb, and then you have the pork. Oh, and you, I think you did mention that uh, it depends on which part of Norway yeah, you stay. Yeah. And the important thing will be different. Yeah, so this is the, 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 the pork ribs, more like the east, co east side of the country. And then you have the lamb meat, mm. uh, more the, the, the west coast. Mm. And then the fish it could be anywhere. Oh. But you know, people are moving around, people are marrying other people, you know. So it's a <laughs> bit everywhere, you know. I grew up with both this and the lamb meat. Oh, yes. I see. And would you say like this and the lamb are one are the, one of the most important thing you would want to have on the on like the Christmas feast table? Yes, yes, yes. And you have been living overseas for like about more than ten years right now. Yeah. So what is the dish that you miss the most? Well, if I can get the riba or the lamb meat, when you start making it and it's the smell of this dish, then it's like Norwegian Christmas. Wow. Anywhere you are in the world. Wow, okay, that mm. is great. Yeah. So, today we will, you are going to teach us how mm -hmm. to make this um, pork, and it's called what? Ribbe? Ribbe, yes. Ribbe. Okay, <laughs> that's Norwegian, so difficult to <laughs> Okay, so what do we have? What are the ingredients needed? Okay, so there are different recipes for ribbe. Mm. Uh, so, today we're going to try to make this. First, we cut some vegetables. Mm. You have garlic, carrots, and onions, mm. and you have some bay leaves and anise. Um, we're gonna put that in the form, and then we're gonna take the the pork ribs here mm. uh, and put that on top, okay. uh, and uh, and roast it and steam it. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, shall we get started then? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. okay. Can you help me, please? Can okay. you start with the onions? Okay. What do I do with the onions? Just like <laughs> chop it into big chunks. Big chunks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. This is quite obvious that I'm not a cook. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cut yourself. <laughs> Okay. Mm. Big chunks, huh? Yeah. Okay. So we're not eating this, it's just to get the flavor into the meat. Oh, okay. Mm. And I see there are two kinds of onions, right? The red onions and these white ones? Yeah, it's just because this taste from this yellow onion is slightly more uh, strong, you know? And you want to mix it with the solid onions as well. Oh, okay. So yeah. where do I put this? Okay, so then we take this one, put it here, and just spread it around here. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. so we spread it around. And the garlic chunks, you can actually just add them whole. Oh, as a whole? Yeah. Okay. So we just throw them in. Whoa, this is like making me tear. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then we just chop off these ones. So, so um, as I said, there's different recipes. Like you can also make it without this, you know. Okay. Only, you can steam it with only water as well and salt. But you know, before we do all this, mm -hmm. before we start steaming and roasting the ribbe, it's important that this part, you have to rub it in with salt and pepper, and oh. then leave it in the fridge or a cool place for two okay. or three days, just to make the salt combine with the Ooh, meat. Okay. It's going to make it tasty. That's very important. So obviously here in Singapore, a cool place would be the fridge. Fridge, you know, yeah. You could, you could just put it out in the snow, you know. But yeah, here you Putting come. it out in the snow, yeah, you, yeah. you literally use like the outdoors as your fridge. Yeah, we could. If it's cool enough. Okay. Anyway, okay, so let's take a look at this fine piece of meat here. Yes. As you probably can see, mm -hmm. if you look closer, you can see it actually cut up into small bits, like, ah. dime, like square shaped. Yes. And this is the rind kind of. The, the, the bake in the fatty part that's going to be like crispy and nice. Oh, mm -hmm. so you have to cut it out, but not cut through, right? Not just to, all just the way through, it. just like the top. 
Ah, okay, yeah. nice. And this is food comes like uh, yeah, like very, very tasty afterwards. Okay. Okay, and then we just place it on top of the vegetables. Oh, almost forgot the bay leaves. Oh, okay. A couple of them, important, important, and some onions. A couple of them. Okay. Just to add some good flavor. Okay. Then we'll put it on top of all of this. Yes. Then, a lot of people will only use water, right? Mm. So we use some water because now we're going to steam it. Ah, okay. Yes. Yeah. First we steam it, then we roast it. Oh. So maybe like one deciliter of water. And then for this specific recipe, we do some beer as well. Steam Ooh. it in beer and water. Beer and water. Mm -hmm. And does it need to be like specific? Like this is, this is dark beer. Yeah, it's quite dark. That would okay. add like more flavor than the, the light beer. But okay. You, I think you can use both. Okay. Okay. So how much of the beer and the water? Uh, half, half. So maybe one deciliter water and one deciliter beer. Okay. So just to remember, this, uh, this uh, pork ribs here has been pre-cooked uh, with, uh, pre, um, with no. salt and pepper. That's okay. very important to remember. Salt and pepper mm. in the fridge. Two, three days. Two to three days. It's like marinated to make sure that the taste goes in. Yes, yes, yes. very important. Okay. All right, and then because we have to first steam it and mm. then we roast it, means we have to be very careful and put on the foil for okay. the steam part. Okay, so I remember you talked, you said something about the, the, the foil, right? Yeah. You cannot touch the skin. Shouldn't touch the skin because it can get stuck. Ah. So just try to, just try to avoid that if you can. Okay. So it's very important to get it very tight because you're going to steam it. And the more close it is, the better is the steam. Okay, so this goes here. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, well done. Yeah, this is not that difficult. <laughs> okay, okay. So now, this goes, this goes in the oven in 230 degrees. Some recipe says two hours and other, you can also get some recipes saying roast for four hours, you know? How much time do you have? <laughs> so different recipes, different recipes. Yeah, okay. okay. So this one. Okay, it goes yeah. to the oven. Yeah, should go into the oven. Yep, okay. Uh, you can just put it over here in the oven here. Okay. Wow, okay, this looks definitely very tasty. I couldn't yeah. wait. We do mm. some side dishes as well. Okay. For example, we have the we have the meat cakes. Minced pork meat. Minced pork. Mm. Okay. So first we add some salt. Okay. And oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Stir it around. Ah, uh, this is minced minced pork. Mm. And you are using this to make uh, like meatballs. Yes. And this will be served like a, a side to the to to the pork. To, yes. To the pork yes. Rib. Correct. Yep. Ah. To the rib. Well, yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm trying to pronounce the word again. <laughs> and then after the salt, you need some potato potato starch. Okay. Potato starch. Some nutmeg. That make powder. Mm -hmm. And some dry ginger. Oh, okay. Small pieces of the Small ginger. Small pieces, yeah. Okay, let's stir it around. Okay. I can help you with this. Do this. Oh. I can put an oven here. Yeah. Okay, this is easy, you know, like, you know, stirring everything together. <laughs> like, this is the easiest part of cooking, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and while I'm doing this, I remember that for this um, pork, this rib ribble, uh, there is a, there is some some meat behind it. Yeah, just yeah. Start. Actually, I was um, reading up on this. You know, mm -hmm. I forgot. So this pork, um, the pork rib is um, is famous from Norway and Denmark as a Christmas tradition. Yes. Okay. But it also goes way back. You know, before like the Christians, this area. So they use this in this um, 
midwinter ceremony. So they use this kind of portage as well there. Oh. And also the northern, the northern mytho mythology. Uh -huh. And the actually god Odin, he used to call out, now it's dinner time in Valhall, you know, and then this was the, the dish they ate. Every day. Every day. Yeah, and the myth said that the minute they ate it up, it will just be fresh again. So every day a new pork rib will be there. In wow. Valhall. Okay, so you don't really have to prepare it. It yeah. is there. <laughs> Says the myth. Okay. Okay, so now we have to add a little by little milk and just stir it around. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, this looks good as well. Hey. I'm gonna fry this with just some oil. You could also use butter or actually the fat from the pork rib as well when you fry the meatballs. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Yep. So what uh how do you fry this? Like the whole thing, just throw it. <laughs> Yeah, we, we form some meatballs and then we make it. Okay. Add some more meal. Okay. Oh, I actually stirring this is quite tiring. <laughs> <laughs> hard work. You know. Yeah, it's hard work to prepare like you know Christmas dinner, and this is just one dish. I cannot imagine the whole spread on that table. Oh yeah. Do you always prepare food for the family? No, not really. <laughs> not really. Usually you will be with your other family, grandparents and sisters and brothers, you know, and ah. uh, take turns in preparing. Ah, and the best cook in the family will be the one, <laughs> will be the chef. Could be. Yeah. Hey. Looking good. Some more milk. Okay. This is great. Oh, um, Shirley asks, what is the percentage of fats in the minced pork? Or the yeah. fat. Yeah, um, like how fatty is the minced pork it has got to it's be? It's not very fatty. I don't know the percentage, but it's quite lean. Not oh, okay. Fat. Yeah, because I think when some of us will buy minced pork, we do we, we would need to tell like the butcher, like, okay, I want very lean parts. Yeah. Uh, I want something more yeah. fatty. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it's more to the lean kind of uh, minced pork. Mm. Ah, okay. Yeah, I can see it's not very fatty. It's mainly meat. Yeah. Yeah. Also, the, um, the pork the, um, in the olden days, you know, the, the, the pork, the, the, the pigs, yes. they were naturally more fat. But now, in uh, modern days in Norway, it's quite lean, the meat. So you have to, to like, do some certain tricks to get this crispy rind. Oh, mm. okay. So that was a natural process before in the olden days. So now, they, they, I don't know, even the, the, the pig in Norway, they, they exercise. <laughs> So they're, they're very, very... I guess so. Sleep. They're very healthy. Very okay. healthy, right? Yeah. <laughs> but it's good. Okay, let's see if we can start making something here. Yes, okay. I'm going to put out a steak for them. Okay. And right. Okay. And when you shape them into meatballs, we can also put out a plate here for when okay. they're done. Oh, it's the second drawer. Mm, yep. Yeah. Okay. Right. So medium heat, not too much. And actually, if you have a bit wet hands, okay. they're easier to shape into nice medisterkake, call it actually. What is that again? Mi medisterkake. Medisterkake. <laughs> or oh. meatballs. Meatballs, like. yeah. <laughs> Try to make the same uh, size, you know. Let's Can see here now. Uh, the size is dependent on how we want to make it, right? It's mm -hmm. fine. Yep. And actually, this when I was a little, I didn't like so much the pork ribs. This was my favorite part. Ah, yeah, as a kid, you know. As a kid, yeah. So this we'll is also, easier to eat. Yeah, we'll also fry some of the sausages, you know. So that's a very child friendly. Ah, it's not always they like the ribe. Oh yeah. Some, something for everyone. It's more to like uh, the kids will like something that is easier for them. Yeah. And sausages is, are always like you know the favorites for popular, kids. Yeah. With they children, love it. right? Hot dog sausages. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so just about seven minutes each side. Okay. Oh, this one is a bit bigger. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Let's see which, we, who, who gets the big ones. Yeah. <laughs> Snatch. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yeah. Put it okay. away here. Yep. Okay. You can turn them around. After a while, I'm just going to wash my hands. Okay, we are gonna, not going to... Wait for two. Ooh. It smells good already. How are you doing here? 
Yeah. Yes. You can, you can smell like ale, like um, the, the, the spice, the yeah. milk. Yeah. And maybe the nutmeg you can smell also. Yeah. A bit, yeah. It's gonna start to smell like Christmas time. Ah, so this is what Christmas smells like in, <laughs> in Norway. Especially pork, you know. Yeah, mm. I, and I'm sure you. This is this are one some, some of the things that you really miss. You know, the smell of a lot of things is. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of um, reports that says that smells actually make people remember a lot of things, yeah. and it makes you it goes to your memories. I think like the smell as a sense is underrated. You know. Yeah. It really bring back memories like spot on. Yeah. Because it's, it's something that you cannot fake. Yeah. It's not easy to fake. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay, while you fry, we can actually cut up some of the sausages here. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can do that. Okay. Just cut them in half. In, in half? Yeah, you can do two of them. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Do you think this pork dish is similar to something you have here in Asia? In Singapore or? Yeah, I, I mean, looking at that that dish you had mm -hmm. and i remember you talking to me it's a little bit like um what we have in singapore the cantonese dish xioba it's like the roast pork that we have in a lot of um in a lot of chinese food yeah it is also roasted it looks very much like it but mm. i'm not sure how it is like maybe maybe when we taste it you're gonna see. taste it afterwards and then you tell us yes how similar is it yeah, it definitely looks very similar because of you know the crispy top yeah. and you know the, the piece of meat with a little bit of fats there and some lean meat. And yeah, the crispy top is also very important. I remember when I was a child, I would not like the meat under, but I would go and take pieces of the, oh, of the crispy top. The you crispy know? top, yeah. yeah. But then my father would be like, oh, who took this, you know? <laughs> yeah, and it's like the pork belly is something which is also very, uh, very common in in Asian dishes, like yeah. the pork belly. But you know, pork belly always has this fatty part. Yeah. And for me, I hate this fatty part. Oh, you do? Yeah, I hate it. So what I would do is I'll take off the the crispy part and I'll eat it, mm -hmm. and I'll take the lean meat and I'll leave the fatty part there. Mm. <laughs> and my mom, when she comes to the table, she's like, why are this fatty meat? Here? I think children always will do this, you know? Yeah, it's like you have, you, you choose what you like to eat, especially when you're a kid, you don't care. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna serve this uh, meat, uh, meatballs around. Ooh, look, it's a nice color now. Yeah, this actually reminds me of, you know, the hamburger meat patties? Yeah. I think this is like, this is quite similar to meat, meat, meatballs Pet. everywhere. Meat uh. patties or meat cakes or whatever, you know? Yeah. How do you make sure that this, the, the, the center of it is like cooked? Because it's, it's quite thick. Yeah, well, it says, it says seven minutes each side, so oh, approximately there. Approximately, yeah. okay. You could, you could just cut one in two and see. But then you, you kind of use the, you can't see if it's juicy enough afterwards. Yeah, use that. but I already smell it. I mean, this is the first time I see putting milk into the meat pan. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, because I think I I, I think those like maybe those that I ate have meat. I, do, I have this milk. I didn't know. No. <laughs> because I don't make them. So this is also one of the things that you will make at home. Yeah, for for Christmas. But this I could also make it for other times. You know, for other times. Meat, meat cakes for the kids. They love it. Yeah. You can have it with potatoes or you know pasta or just with bread. Okay, so I'm going to put them on the side here and then we're going to do the, the sausages. Sausage. Yeah. Yep. Let's see. Okay. Mm. Ooh. So we could actually, because this is, this is, you make the shape yourself, you can change it into any shape you want, right? Could, yeah. <laughs> if you feel like being creative. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wait, get Yep. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit. Okay, yep. and then we're gonna do a couple of sausages. Yep. Are this Thank you. Mm, sausages like special Norwegian sausages or just sausages? Actually, this can also be like like means pork sausages. It's all about the pork, isn't it? You know? Ah, yeah. okay. I think I'll just do three here. Three. Okay. Get some good space. Okay. So, um, Eric asks, why would you remove the crispy, crisp, crispy, delicious part? Why are we removing it? I, 
removing it? No, we're not. We're eating it. We're eating it. I would. That's eat, the best part. Yeah, I would eat the crispy parts. I'll leave the fats. Maybe you're thinking know. about when I removed it when I was a child. I removed yeah. it to eat it. Oh yeah, you yeah. remove yeah you remove it to eat it. Yeah, I and kind you of stole it, you know. <laughs> yeah. You know what? If I were there, I would hate you. <laughs> I was like, where is the best part? It's gone. So this Christmas dish is actually all about pork. Yeah. You have minced pork patty, mm -hmm. and you have pork sausages. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. all about the pork. Yeah. But as I said, you know, other places they use the lamb meat. They mm. can have the lute fisk. It's kind of a jelloish uh, fish. Yeah, and what is this? Oh, the jelloish fish. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I had have it. Have seen it? Have you tasted it? I've tasted it somewhere in Europe. Uh, it is. It is jellied, and yeah, it is weird. <laughs> it is. Yeah. It's. Um. I didn't grow up eating it, so yeah, it, it's not what I eat. But um, a lot of people love it. Yeah, mm. it's, it, it is something very interesting, like to me, because fish is always served like um, hot. Or yeah. else is it sashimi? Yeah. Yeah, I've never tasted something like, like a jellied fish. Yeah, it's very, very far off sashimi and these kind of things. Yeah. yeah. And August, is ribble a main Christmas dish? Is it the main Christmas dish? Well, for a lot of people, it's a main dish. I think like 60% of Norwegians eat the ribbe in Christmas time. 60%? 60%, yeah. And I think that's 60% on Christmas Eve. On Christmas Eve, mm -hmm. not Christmas Day. So Christmas, no, Christmas Eve, that's all the, the big thing in Norway. It's not Christmas Day. Ah, so you actually have a big feast on Christmas Eve before, yes. before you count down to Christmas? Yeah, actually the Christmas Eve on the 24th is Christmas for us. That's when we eat this feast more, uh, d uh, dinner and we have presents. And Santa Claus is coming, you know. And do you do like countdown to like the actual Christmas Day, like on the Christmas Eve? No, actually, in my family, we usually watch um, a concert on TV from uh -huh. five. Five o'clock is this uh, choir singing uh -huh. uh, all these beautiful Norwegian uh, Christmas songs. And then they will sit, having a tiny little snack before we eat Christmas dinner. Mm. And then it's time for the presents. And if you have small kids in the house, they will be eager. That is the main thing. Yeah. And now we, you, you did mention that uh, this is like a pork dish, like very porkish. Mm -hmm. Then is then Valerie asked, do you like uh, serve pork a lot in a lot of uh, special occasions? Is pork one, like, one of the main things that you yeah, serve? No, not really. Not really. It's big in Christmas time, but you know. It's big during yeah. Christmas. Elsewhere, it's, um, it's a lot of other dishes. Uh -huh. There's also a lot of, uh, you know, uh, moose hunting in Norway. I grew up having a lot of moose meat in the house. Ah. That's all we ate the rest of the year. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. You hunt it once a year and you have it for the rest of the year. Yes, yes, yes. We hunt it each August. Uh, and then we, you know, slaughtered it and freezed it and had like minced meat, roast, yeah, sausages, whatever. So you go hunting? Yes, but I wasn't big enough, but I could join the hunt, you know. You just, just walking, <laughs> yeah, just walking around the forest. I didn't shoot. I didn't shoot. Ah, okay. Do you need a license to actually go hunting? Sure, do. In? To carry a weapon in Norway is very restricted. Ah, okay. Mm. And you have re a restricted areas, like special areas for hunting. You don't yeah. just hunt anywhere you want, yeah, right? Yeah. You and either you rent this kind of particular area where you can hunt, mm -hmm. or you own one because you have a farm. And I grew up on a farm, so we had this particular area ah. where we could hunt. You know. So you hunt your farm animals. Yes. Wow, okay, that is interesting. You hunt your own farm animals. Well, not the farm animals, the wild animals. Ah, okay, look okay. at here. I think the sausage is done. Yes. We're going to put it in here. Ooh. Are you hungry yet? Yes, very. <laughs> it definitely looks very, very good here. Yeah. Okay, so I think we'll put this aside. And then we have prepared the, the finished the finish pork ribs for you guys. So you can oh. have a look at it. Yeah. I think yeah. just a second and I will get it. Yes. So we have the meat patty and we have the sausages. And very quickly, we are going to see the ready prepared. Okay. <gasps> Whoa! Here you can have a look. Here is how it's served. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. So here you have, you know, see the rind, how it's crispy and nice. Yeah, I mm. can understand now why you would steal that crispy part. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, we should put some of the sausages on the side here. Okay. Oh, let me get We this. can get the fork. Yeah. And then we usually serve it with something sweet and something sour. Sour. And we have, for example, the cabbage. We have apples. We have on prunes, potatoes. 
Okay. Yeah, just put it inside here. Perfect. Thank you. And whoa. And for the sour pot, we can have like this kind of cabbage ah. dish. This is like the red cabbage. If you're familiar with the German sauerkraut. Yes. Yeah, this is similar, but this is like red cabbage. Yeah, so, so it is it is just sour. Yeah. And I can see that it's like um, you have your carbs here, mm -hmm. <laughs> the potato. Yeah. And you have the sweet uh, things like the fruits. Yes. Yes. It's quite a festive meal. And here we have the lingonberry. Mm -hmm. Could be similar to cranberries, you know, ah. as you have to the turkey. And here yes. you actually have a very simple sauce. It's actually the fat from the pork rib when it was roasting. Oh, it's very nice to have on top. Okay, let's cut. Uh, okay, cut something here. Okay. Okay. So let's make sure you get. Oh, looks very tasty. It looks very tasty, definitely. Yeah. And it looks very festive also because looking at the colors, there's red, there's green. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This definitely looks very Christmas to me. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do some potatoes, potatoes. here on the mm -hmm. side. Mm -hmm. uh, apple. Mm -hmm. Some prunes, if you like that. Yeah. Yes, some of this medisterkake. Medisterkake. <laughs> Did I pronounce it correctly? Yes, it was very good. <laughs> Yeah, so I will not order here. the wrong dish. <laughs> oh, did I take everything here now? And then ah. we have to do some of the... I need a spoon. Need a spoon. Yes. Oh, and the sauerkraut. And the sauerkraut. You can also have the, the white sauerkraut. But this particular one is red. So there's yep. so many side dishes you can have. Mm. So you can't have them all. Ah. Too much. So is it usually... Do you usually have the red uh, sauerkraut or do you have the white one? Actually, we have both. You oh. love it. So oh, you have, have two. Yeah. Because my father was from Trøndelag, where they eat this kind of pork, you know. Mm -hmm. And my mom's from Bergen. And they ah. eat the lamb meat. So oh. we had everything. We were quite fortunate. Okay, Ooh. so a bit of lingonberry. Uh -huh. And this lingonberry, we also go out in the forest and we pick them. And we make <gasps> this jam. Oh my god. It's like everything is like fresh. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay, let's and get And this oh, one. Sorry, I almost forgot. Okay, the and this sauce you, you did mention, this is actually, we have we got this from roasting it. Yes, it's the, actually the fat from the roasting. Mm. So we use for the sauce. Oh. Ooh. Take some more of that. Yeah, it's. Um, so and let's get you a fork and knife. Now I'm very excited to see. Yes. How Can you we think like this everyone? Is? Shall we take a look at it and see how it looks like? Wow, this is definitely like very nice color, right? Can you see that? You have the red, you have the green, and look at the pork. Yeah. Oh, this pork belly. Yeah. This definitely looks good. Yeah. Okay. I can't wait to try it. Okay. Bon appetit, go appetit. Yep, okay, let me try. Let's and see now what Jacqueline says. And does this taste like the, the, the usual? Oh, okay, this is crispy. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why be scolded if I'm, I'm in, in Norway and oh, at a Norwegian stable? <laughs> okay, do I eat this with the sauce? Uh, yes, okay, so uh, Lin Juan is asking uh, what are some other pork dishes are served during the special occasion like Christmas in Norway? Mm. Yeah, so it's actually this the pork, the pork rib, the pork sausage and the pork kind of meatball. That's all pork. Uh, other pork dishes, I don't think there are so many others. Then it's the lamb and the fish dishes. Mm. This is actually very similar to what we have, like the Cantonese kind of um, uh, roast pork. Is it? Yes, because I think the only difference might be one of the spice. Mm. Because I, th uh, I think the Chinese uh, roast pork, we add five spice powder. Ah, yeah. yeah. But other than that, salt and pepper. So it's quite similar. I think the difference is you eat this with cranberry. The, yes. the, 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 
the berry and berry sauce, right? It's quite important actually to add that one. Yeah, but mm. you know, like like for us, we like to eat it with chili. Oh yeah, <laughs> of course. Different kinds of chili, right? Mm. Something something more spicy. Yeah. Not the man. How's it? How chi? Yeah, it's great. <laughs> yeah. So, the, do we have any more questions that you want to ask? Where's the lingonberry sauce? Yeah, What's this is actually the the um, this one. This is the lingonberry sauce. Yep. Mm. It's low, almost like a jam, but it's quite like sourish, you know. Mm. Yep. Mm. We can we can see this is so. Um, no, we buy you buy this sauce now, but when you are back in Norway, you pluck it from you pluck the fresh fruits and you make. Yeah, you can. It. You can also buy it, of course. Yeah. But it's like a nice trip into the forest. Yeah, looks rib. <laughs> Delicious, delicious, <laughs> delicious! Wow, it is definitely is delicious. Definitely, I think because with all everything there, you know, you have your sausages, you have meat patty, you have veggies with potatoes. It is, it is a very, very complete meal. Yeah, yeah. You will get quite the full afterwards. Yeah. Yes, and I uh, do you eat the ribble with a uh, lefse. Lefse, yeah. Nice, What? nice. What's a lefse? Nice. Lefse is some kind, quite like a potato cake, almost like a thin, like a wrap, you know. Oh. And actually, like we do this wrap roll, we do like with the wrap roll with uh, some slightly uh, cut ribbe. You can and poke you it inside it. there with some mustard, actually, and you eat it. Lefse, dude. Ah, oh, so you eat it with mustard. It's almost like a Christmas tapas. Oh, Christmas tapas. Good one. Yeah, Christmas in a platter. <laughs> yeah, Christmas in a platter. It's yeah. like a Christmas color, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it, is, it looks great. Mm. Yeah, I, I think, I, I think this is, this is definitely something that I would like. It's, it's not too strong. The taste is not like too strong. You know, some, some dishes is like very, very strong. But this mm. is just nice. Yeah. But I think pork, uh, pork belly is actually a pork rib. Pork belly is a very important dish for a lot of traditions and yeah. cultures. Yeah. I remember uh, I tried the Filipinos um, pork yeah. belly as well. Like, mm. like but it's that's a lot of spice. Yeah, it's like that they roast it it's with a different spice. Thing. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot more spice. And I think even more, maybe more also fatty the one uh, in the uh, Philippines. And also the one I tasted in China, similar, much more fat. Yeah, mm. I I think it's because of the culture in China. They they like it very fat. I mm. I remember I had something like uh from my friends in China who's from like north northern part of China. It's super yeah. cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the 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 proportion of it is like so much fat and yeah. this little little meat. But it was because they said that it's too cold. Yeah. And the fatty meat actually makes you feel warm. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, true. yeah. So and yeah, maybe and that's why pork is very popular during mm. Christmas because Christmas is cold, right? It's, it's very very cold. What do you think? If you serve this at home with your family, mm. what do you think they would say? Would they like it? Yes, they will like it. Yeah. And I, th I think children will like it because yeah. it's sweet. Yeah. And the <laughs> sausages. A, yeah. And of course, sausages, everyone will love it. And apples. Mm. Yeah. It's, this is definitely something that everyone will like it. And I think even my parents will like it because uh, it is not too much of uh, different kinds of taste. Mm. It is very, um, very clean card, like pork, pork belly. Yeah, I love it. Mm. Yeah, and Chris said, like, great for Christmas, definitely. Oh, yeah, and today is our, our chef's kitchen, but do not miss our other programs. We have Carriers and Bakhtas coming up, directed by yours truly. <laughs> yeah, and that is going to happen during, like, the Chinese New Year uh, at Singapore Chinese Cultural Center. And we have more chef's kitchen coming up, and uh, one coming up uh, this Saturday with with uh, Mei Ling from Sky Denta. She is half Norwegian and half Singaporean. Mm. And if you look at the picture there, you will see it is, it does it look something similar to, to, to one of the dish that we have in Singapore, a snack that we have in Singapore. I'm sure a lot of Singaporeans or Asians would know. Thank you very much. And Thank remember you to uh, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, on our social media. Okay. And see you soon. Bye. Bye.